Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great week and a great January. This video is inspired by the amount of titles that are getting thrown around right now in rela relation to nutrition. It's going to kind of reference my first video, the RD101 video, but it's going to go on kind of a different route. It's going to talk about different titles that a dietitian can have um, and titles that don't necessarily mean they're a dietitian. So let's get started. All right, so let's look at this. There's a bunch of other ones too. These are just some that I picked out that I've seen circulating lately. So we know we got the registered dietitian, which is the OG, the, you know, four years of school at least, and an internship that's a year, and then a licensure exam um, that is a federal exam. So they are legally allowed to give nutrition advice, nutrition therapy, all of that. So they're the OGs, they're the real deal. Now, when we get into these other ones, these other ones, a dietitian can be all of these, um, but all of these does not mean that they're a dietitian. So to keep that's to keep in mind. So a nutrition coach is in a rising field right now in the world of nutrition, and it kind of takes a more health and wellness, social lifestyle approach than a medical approach. So a nutrition coach would help you with your goals, you know, to lose weight or to eat healthier, but they would not necessarily um, help you, you know, overcome your hypertension and things like that. It may be a result that you, you know, overcome your hypertension because of nutrition coaching, but just because somebody's a nutrition coach does not mean that they can give you medical nutrition therapy. So a registered dietitian can be a nutrition coach, but a nutrition coach does not necessarily mean they're a registered dietitian. I want to harp on this because I really want you to understand credentials if you're paying for a service. I don't want you to pay money for someone who just took you know, just took the title and was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run with this and I'm not going to put any time or money into, you know, my schooling or anything and I'm just going to tell people how to eat. So you want the person who is certified, can legally give advice. So, um, I mean, you may not, you may want the person who doesn't know anything, um, which is to each their own, um, but just if you're paying for a service, just you know, be mindful of the credentials that the person has. Same thing as nutritionist. Um, nutritionist is a title that the dietitian community is really trying to get a handle on because right now anybody can call themselves a nutritionist when they don't have any certifications whatsoever. And so we're really trying to get nutritionists to be a part of a registered dietitian thing so that not everybody can falsely advertise themselves as a nutritionist. Same with nutrition expert. A dietitian most certainly is a nutrition expert, but a nutrition expert is just a title that you can tack on to anything. You could have taken, you know, a three month class online on something and consider yourself a nutrition expert, but again, check the credentials of the person that you are getting your information from. Um, and now more onto the fitness side of things, a personal training expert or a personal trainer, um, a lot of them give out diet advice. A lot of them give out supplement advice and things like that. Um, like that's all good. Um, a lot of personal trainers have not had the extensive nutrition training to understand what certain supplements do to your body internally, um, what certain nutrition prescriptions do to your body internally. So just because they have a good body does not mean that the inside of them is not screaming. And you know, your genetics may be wildly different from the personal trainer. 
So just because the personal trainer has a certain body composition, that may not be realistic for you at any point. Um, even with like the personal trainer's diet regimen, because yeah. So, you know, if you are gonna listen to your personal trainer um, about nutrition advice, um, you know, take it with a grain of salt. You know, if they're not a registered dietitian as well, then, you know, their information may be false and they may not know it may be false, but it could be very damaging to your body. And also a diet expert. So whether they're a paleo expert or a keto expert or, or what have you, they know a lot about that diet. Yes, they know a lot about the foods that go into that diet and everything, but they may not know the internal implications of the diet. They may not know the long-term health effects of the diet. And it could be very damaging, you know, if you want to do one of these diets, a registered dietitian's gonna know the research, gonna know what is right for you. And you don't have to listen to the registered dietitian, you can listen to the diet experts. But again, taking it with a grain of salt and understanding that just because somebody's an expert in something doesn't mean they have the credentials to, you know, give you sound research-based legal advice on your diet. So, you know, with all of this, this is kind of a ranty video and I apologize, but with all of this, um, my main point is that you don't know where these people are getting their, ed like, where they're getting their information for the advice they're giving you. A registered dietitian is, you know, regulated and Everything that, you know, a registered dietitian tells you or does or practices is going to be research-based, science-backed um, advice. So, you know, if you're going to pay for a service, I would want to pay for the service for the person who, you know, knows what they're doing. But you don't have to. Um, if you want to listen to these other people, then, you know, that's to each their own, so. But, you know, taking it with a grain of salt and understanding the differences between registered dietitians and every other kind of nutrition person out there. So I hope that this video wasn't too ranty for everybody. Um, I hope that the rest of your weekend is great and that your January is going good too. Um, again, if you have any questions for me or you would like me to talk more about the um, different qualifications and certifications and all that sort of stuff, um, or you're getting advice from somebody and you don't know if it's correct or not, I can um, point you in a direction and refer you to a dietitian that I know and things of that nature. So. Um, again, this video is for uh, entertainment purposes only, so if you are going to take any of this advice, um, please know that talking to a registered dietitian is the right way to go. <laughs> okay, have a great day, y'all. Bye.